Google Maps is one of the most popular maps applications that you can actually use. And I want to give a quick breakdown on exactly how to use this particular application. There isn't anything super complicated or crazy, and it's a fairly basic app to use. So to get started, once you have this particular application installed, you want to go and open it up, and you can go and tap on it to open it up. Now, the layout of Google Maps is very simple, whether you're on an Android or iPhone, or even if you're on your computer. So the very top or the top left, there's going to be a portion that allows you to search for things within the application. It's going to give you, based on your location, a couple of hints at the very top of things that can be around you or things you can search. You can think of things like restaurants, hotels, coffee, shopping, so many other things across the board. You'll basically be able to see all those things right at the very top right here. At the top or right, you'll be able to see a microphone if you just want to talk straight up to Google. And you can even see in the top right your profile icon. If you tap on it, it'll give you this massive list of different things that you can basically see. And we'll get into these tips in a second. At the very center of your particular display, you'll basically see your map application itself. So what you could do is you can go and scroll around on the map itself. You can zoom in just by zooming in right here, and you can zoom into any area, and you can zoom out of an area as well. And let's say you want to go and click into an area. Let's say you like this Walgreens, for example. You can tap onto that Walgreens and get more information about it. Same thing goes for any sort of other thing that kind of pops up here too. You can tap on an empty spot if you want to drop a pin. It's actually a very, very cool thing that you can basically do and just kind of modify within your particular maps application. Now, when you see this little layer option that comes up in the top right right here, you can tap on it and it'll give you a little bit of a different type of view. So if you want to, you can see your default view, satellite view, or some other views as well. And from there, I mean, it's a really, really cool thing that you can basically do. Now, clicking this X, if we come into our latest, into our normal area, if we swipe up in this latest in the area, It'll give us a list of all the cool things that are around us as well, like in this area that we're currently in. So you can go and search through here. You can see other people posting things. And again, it's a really cool thing that you have the opportunity of doing. At the bottom, you know, in the bottom of the particular application, you'll see a lot of other things that come up here too. So the first one, you'll see Explore. It'll allow you to explore your page and do other things like that. The second option is Go. If you want to go somewhere, if you have anything or anything in particular, like, you know, trip suggestions, you can tap on go and it'll give you some chip, uh, tip subjections or trip suggestions there too. Under saved, if you have any saved areas, you know, saved pins, if you have anything, you know, saved inside of your particular application, that will be under saved, which is another really cool thing. Under contribute, if you've ever left any reviews or anything like that in any area, those things will show up right here too, which is really cool. And under updates, if there's any updates of people that you follow or notifications or you know, messages that you have within Google Maps, those types of applications and those types of things will come up right here as well. Now, clicking back into our Explore page, a really big thing that you may want to do within Google Maps is take directions. So what you can do is if you know somewhere that you want to go, you can search for or paste that address right up here, and you can literally just go and be directed right to that area. But if you want to see or get a glimpse of you know, some directions here and there, you can tap onto this little blue arrow, which is right there, and you'll come to this page. Now, it allows you to go and choose a starting point you can choose your location as a starting point, or you can type somewhere if you want to. So in this case, let's say I just put in Washington DC as my address or as my like starting point. And let's say I wanted to go to New York. So let's say I type in NYC. Well, what I can do is I can go and type in Washington DC to NYC, and this list will basically come up. It'll give you a quick breakdown on exactly how long that specific you know area, that how long that drive is gonna be. But let's say you don't want to drive, but you can change those particular toggles at the type as well. So you can see right here, I can basically get into a car ride if I want to. I can take a train if I want to. That's going to take two hours and 56 minutes. If I wanted to walk, it's going to take four days, so on and so forth. So you can change this particular direction whichever way you want to. And that's another thing you can do right inside of Google Maps. It's a really cool thing. I like being able to do that. But once you go and have that set up, at the very bottom right here, you can get, again, a more detailed list of how long this trip's going to last. It's going to be 239 miles, four and a half hours. If I swipe up, it's going to give me more directions and more instructions on this trip, how much it's going to cost in terms of gas, how much traffic, so many things across the world, as well as written instructions on exactly how to go ahead and navigate this particular trail or this particular you know, drive. And if I wanted to go, I can click on preview, and it's going to give me a preview on exactly how this particular list is going to go. And if I was ready, I would be able to click on a little you know, drive, you know, little, little like go start button. And it will start allowing me to drive within Google Maps. And it will follow my directions. And as long as you have satellite on your phone, you should be good to go. Now, if you want to go back, you can click back here. On the top right corner, you'll see your profile icon. This is a list of all, like a ton of different, you know, instructions that you can have. And a ton of features within Google Maps. So if you want to manage your Google account, you can tap into here. 
If you ever want to turn on incognito mode, you can enable that right here. If you want to go into your profile, you can do that, your timeline of everywhere you went. If you want to share your location within Google Maps, you can tap onto location sharing, and you should be able to share your location within this particular application, which is another really cool thing. On top of that, you can access offline maps as well, which is really cool. Your data in maps, so any data that you have, and even settings within Google Maps, you can go and modify even more settings within the settings portion of this particular Google Maps application. So at a high level, that's kind of how to use Google Maps. Like I said, it's not anything super complicated. It's a fairly basic app, but that's basically how to use it in 2024. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.